Hello, beautiful friends. It's Erica. Today we're going to be talking about the upcoming solstice on June 20th of 2020. Now for the overwhelming majority of you, um, this is going to be the summer solstice. And for some of you, this will be the winter solstice. So regardless of which one it is, this reading will be appropriate because I'm reading into the energies. Now solstices are always about um, completions and beginnings of cycles, depending on um, uh, depending on which hemisphere you live in. And summer solstice is when the day is obviously the longest it's going to be. There's the most daylight. And in the winter, it's when it's the shortest day, the least amount of daylight. So winter solstices are a lot about introspection and culminating um, what we've really been learning about ourselves as we've been going inward, hibernating, if you will. And summer solstices are about fully coming out, um, you know, bursting forward. What are you ready to like come out and like at a peak or a climax of some kind that's been building since the previous solstice six months earlier? So, um... We're going to take a look today at how the solstice will be impacting both the divine masculine and the divine feminine. And again, as I always say, please watch this also for your inner masculine and feminine, although that's a little bit trickier these days because the masculine and feminine energies have united in a much, in a very powerful way. So sometimes it's almost like hard to distinguish between the two energies, but there are differences in the energies that are very complementary and uh, but do create unity. So some of you are watching this specific for a relationship, whether it's romantic or a friendship or a family relationship. And um, but I do encourage you to watch this for your inner masculine and inner feminine energies. So um, let's see this this uh, solstice is happening in between in the middle of a bunch of planets being retrograde and the eclipses we've um we've gotten we're about to um we're in the oh my gosh i can't even talk <laughs> i can't even talk okay my brain is going a million miles an hour and my mouth has not caught up yet okay we are in the middle of eclipse season and um a lot of retrogrades and I've done videos on pretty much all of those if you're looking and curious about understanding the effects they may have on you I definitely recommend checking them out I will link some of them at the end of this video and if you're new to my channel welcome and if you haven't checked out my playlist definitely do that I only have a few things on my playlist um, I don't have uh, all my videos on playlists, but if you're new and you feel like browsing, go check it out or just check past, just check through my past videos, scan through the titles and see which ones jump out at you. I'm getting a lot of people that are kind of new to this journey and asking questions and I've done videos on pretty much every topic. So definitely scan through my titles and um, see what jumps out at you. So let's take a look first at where the um, divine masculine is at this solstice where is he overall in his life in his energy oh he's at the fool <laughs> he's ready to embark on a new journey he's ready to take a risk he's ready to he's on the precipice of a brand new start here so this could be where it's like his coming out party right his debutante party <laughs> coming out into the world and we've been seeing this in the trends with the readings I've been doing. Um, and this truly is where the divine masculine, the sacred masculine energy on the planet is really arriving in a very powerful way within all of us. Um, this is where we're ready to take charge in our life. We're ready to go for things we want to do. We're ready to make changes in our lives that need to be made. This is where we're just ready to uh, no longer sit back and think and worry and ignore things. This is where we're ready to take the lead. So I love that this message, this energy is coming forward for him. And let's see where the Divine Feminine is in her overall energy with this solstice. Oh, and she's getting the Four of Wands, which is a manifestation. This is a, <clears throat> this is a celebration. This is where hard work is paid off. So, um, so whether, for example, if you've been waiting on some opportunity in your professional life, 
this is where the divine feminine like intuitively you've known that something's on on your on the way to you or something's going to give something's going to hit this feels like this is where um the stars align for something big to transpire in your life that's just an example of how these energies could apply um, in other aspects of your life besides simply relationships but we do have um, a, a hard work paying off here and a manifestation for the divine feminine and um, the fool here for the divine masculine so let's see what challenges have been overcome by each leading up to this solstice what challenges has the divine masculine overcome we got two cards that flew out so we have the hermit and the moon oh wow okay and let me get a third card and the chariot well here it is um this to me feels very strongly what has what challenge has been overcome is really aligning his inner world with his outer world really making sense of how have i man manifested my outward experience because of the choices i've made how have i played a part what have i been learning through my journey um this is where there has been some things that he has been deeply seeing about himself where um he's needed to see them he's had to go inward he's had to discover where he's kept himself from his ultimate happiness where happiness and joy may have been right in front of him, yet he was feeling like it was always at an arm's length. And we do have victory and alignment here, though. This is where it's like, this is almost, I'm hearing that he's he's rectified his own past and come to terms and also come to an understanding about what it is that he has Um been doing in his journey here as the sacred masculine so it looks like he's he's conquered fears he's conquered illusions illusions about himself illusions about other people illusions about situations you know where has he been um seeing things through you know rose colored lenses and this is where he's now finally seeing the truth. And now that he knows the truth, he can take action. When you don't know the truth, you don't know the reality. It's hard to take decisive action. But when you see things clearly, that's when you know what you have to do. So let's see what challenges have been overcome for the Divine Feminine. Tower, the Hierophant, and the Knight of Cups. The challenge that the Divine Feminine has overcome is understanding why things had to be shaken up in her world at a foundational level, spiritually, in order to bring in this brand, this elevated. Um, offer of love this elevated relationship and for some of you this challenge involves where something had to get you know broken down because the tower is about foundations and this isn't i always used to give this analogy all the time the tower is like it's not like you're just going to renovate a house and um or even gut a house and then just build it like this is where you bulldoze the entire house clear the lot and then start to build a completely new foundation and a completely new structure so the divine feminine has understood spiritually that her world needed to be um, bulldozed in order to create this stability that she's now manifesting in her life, this celebration that she is now manifesting in her life, this hard work paying off. So let's take a look at what's finally complete for the Divine Master. Let's see what's complete, finally complete for each of them. And we'll start with the Divine Masculine. So what is finally complete with this solstice? What is finally complete? The Two of Swords the Page of Cups, and the Five of Pentacles. 
well, what's finally complete is his indecision um, and his stuckness regard truly opening his heart, truly bringing his heart to the table. This is where he has been stuck and stagnant in his life because he has been afraid of change. He's been afraid of possibly rejection or being abandoned. Uh, but what he's really complete with is realizing where he abandoned himself when it comes to his heart. Where has he chosen to just stay stuck in a situation where he wasn't willing to see the truth because he was afraid of truly opening his heart. And um, communicating from an open heart. So this cycle of going inward and looking at illusions, because again, this full moon here is above this two of swords. It's like big time inner energies of illusions and secrets and not being above board and fears and not knowing what's real, not listening to his intuition. And not listening to his intuition it's like his, what he's complete with is where he didn't listen to his intuition, didn't listen to his heart, and it caused him to stagnate in his world. Let's see what's complete, finally complete for the Divine Feminine. The Queen of Cups, the Ten of Cups, and the Two of Wands. Wow. I feel like what's complete for the Divine Feminine is where she may have been choosing a path relating to her heart and her happiness. Where the Divine Feminine has made decisions. She's no longer at a crossroads deciding what it is that make that, um, is going to make her emotionally fulfilled and happy. Now I'm going to say this as an example because this is a theme coming in and it's showing up in these cards again. Let's say it doesn't matter if you're a divine masculine or divine feminine because we're both. But we do have a primary energy that we play in a dynamic. Um, if you're, if you're in the process of, for example, leaving a relationship behind, a relationship or a situation that's done, it's your inner feminine that's ready to make the decision. And the, and the masculine within you is ready to take the action based on the decision and the knowing of the inner, your inner feminine. But your masculine is finally getting ready to do it despite a fear of change, despite a fear of uncertainty. So again, just sharing that as if you're watching this for your inner masculine and feminine, because they are very much working in tandem. They're working in tandem. When I first started my channel two and a half years ago, it's like the energies were in different camps. The masculine and feminine energies were very distinguished. But now they've really come together and are really working together very nicely. Um, so let's take a look now at what um, inner transformation has gone on for the Divine Masculine. How has he transformed internally? We have the Knight of Pentacles, the Temperance card, and the Magician. This is where he, um, he has shifted internally. He knows in his core that he is the master of his own destiny, that he has the ability to transform any situation, that he has all the skills and the abilities to do this. He's moved from feeling like Life happens to me and I just am a, I'm just like a passenger in my, on my life's train on this journey, instead of realizing that he is not only the conductor of the train, but that he can create any type of, um, 
craft to get them anywhere he wishes. So he's really um, moved from feeling like, you know, this is my world and I just happen to live in it and I just respond to whatever's going on around me. And yeah, I have a little say in the matter, but ultimately life just is life. He's really moved into knowing that he is the wizard here, being able to create his life and to make things happen in his world. He's gone through the inner transformation, the inner alchemy. To know that he is supported by the universe to create whatever he wants to create in his world. Because when you move into true integrated consciousness and live from fifth dimensional frequency and consciousness, manifestation time like shortens tremendously because you know you have the ability to manifest. So your inner masculine is in this place of knowing that you can you can create whatever you need to create. So let's get a card for what has um, how has the divine feminine transformed internally since the last solstice. The king of pentacles, the queen of pentacles and the justice card. Oh my word. Well, here is sacred union right here with this king and queen of pentacles. And is it interesting how he's, the masculine starts here as the knight and then here are the two. Um, and then there's justice. So this is where um, there's balance. The feminine has balanced her inner masculine and feminine energies. She's clear. She's also very successful. She's very successful in her, in her um, endeavors. But internally, this is where I just feel like this is a very loud message of knowing that she has reached internal union of self. And it's brought her a balance. She knows when to be in her masculine and when to be in her feminine. Um, you know, there's times when the divine feminine needs to be in her masculine her divine masculine, and she shifts into that energy in a certain situation, for example, maybe in a work situation or a time where she needs to assert herself in a certain way. She shifts into her inner masculine and other times she knows when it's time to be in her feminine. So she's very much reached an inner balance, which is beautiful here. And guys, I will be doing an extended as usual um, where we're going to go a lot into the union energies, the, the dynamic between the masculine and the feminine we're going to look at shadows. We're going to look at what area of life is going to start to grow and flourish. What are their wishes and desires? Um, what are they really getting excited about? What are they revealing to the world? And we're going to um, get a lot more guidance over in the extended. But let's take a final look here. How is the divine masculine transformed in his outer world? We get the knight of cups. The king of wands. Whoa. Okay. Hello. And the tower. Here it is. This is where he is. Um, he knows exactly what he wants. He's ready to move forward with this Knight of Cups. He's ready to take a stand. He's ready. He's learned from any past um, mistakes. And he's ready to take charge and create a breakthrough in his life. And um, a breakthrough and to really change things. So here he is in his outer world showing up as the masculine. There's movement here with both the Knight of Cups and the Knight of Wands and the tower is like this. You know, what was I saying about the summer solstice? Especially, it's like a peak and a climax. Well, here's the tower. <laughs> That's exactly what that is. So um, looks like he's making some moves in his outer world, showing the world what he's ready to go for and what he's ready to align with spiritually. And let's see what has um, outer transformation is going on for the divine feminine since the last solstice. The page of pentacles, the three of pentacles, and the four of swords. Well, here it is. The outer transformation is the divine feminine has been able to, um, to do things to, to, um, to find new creative ways to do things. 
and collaborate with others, to unite with others, to heal, to make things better. This is where the Divine Feminine is showing the world in her outer world what she's capable of doing. And this feels very much like, like how the Divine Feminine can be a very healing force on the planet. In her interactions, in the way she shows up in the world, in her work, in her mission, um, just in her day-to-day -day life, she is showing on the outside a new way of being. Just her presence. And if you think about what the world is going through right now with this massive um, great awakening, it is the energy of the sacred feminine that has kept people steady. Her inner knowing, her wisdom, her calm, her centeredness, her nurturing, her loving energy. She has kept that energy in the collective very, very well through this time of our upheaval and challenge. So very, very beautiful message uh, here for this solstice. We've got victory and breakthrough energy. We've got manifestations. We've got alignment. We've got balance. We've got justice. So I'm heading over to the extended. We're going to go a lot more in depth over there. The link to find out the information that I cover in the extended is down below in the description box. But for those of you not going on, I will leave you with a guidance card here for each the masculine energy and the feminine energy. Interesting. This is a message for both. We have anger and we have compassion. Here we go. It's exactly what I was just saying. What's happening in the world. Safely express your anger and use anger as a positive force and honor all of your emotions as sacred and have compassion for others. Be gentle with yourself. Forgiveness will set you free and see the light in yourself and others. If this is not the best combination guidance for what is happening in the world right now, um, I don't know what else is. So uh, with that, guys, I hope you have a beautiful day. I will see some of you over in the extended. And until next time, I send you much love. Bye.